It's late August, but Trevor May looked like the May of April when he went 5-0 and with a 2.4 ERA to start the season. Trevor, his longest outing of the year, eight innings, gave up just one run on two hits, struck out nine, and most importantly did not walk a batter in picking up his 10th win of the season. Did give up a home run in the first inning, but the Arfills quickly got that back. Bottom of the first, Cody Ashey on first with two outs and a full count to Jake Fox, and Fox will double home Ashey. Our fills not the score at one. Bottom two, Darren Ruff, not the only R fill making a run at the record books. Leandro Castro, 35 doubles entering tonight, closing in on the single season doubles record. Going for number 36 here. Throw beats him, but a great slide by Castro avoids the tag. He now has 36 two baggers, three shy of the top spot, held by David Doster and Greg Jacobs. Bottom three we go. Bases loaded. Still a 1 1 tie for Tug Hewlett. And Hewlett. Will bounce one off the warning track and then off the wall. A two-run double will score Cody Ashey and Darren Ruff. Our Phils take their first lead of the evening, three to one. Ashey would finish two for four with two runs scored. Also made a great play on this Eric Campbell grounder in the fourth inning. Ashey having himself a terrific month of August. Also improving by leaps and bounds on the defensive end, turning himself quickly into a top prospect for the Phillies organization. Bottom five now. Here he is, the man everyone came to see. Darren Ruff, 18 home runs on August 2nd. He has doubled that total over the last 25 days. Home run number 36 for Ruff. He is just one home run away from Ryan Howard's coveted 37 mark set in 2004. He has seven more games left to break it. Speaking of being one away, Justin Friend, now one save short of the single season record of 24, set by Toby Borland and Wayne Gomes. He struck out the side in a perfect ninth to preserve the victory. Our Phils beat the B-Mets 4-1 on Monday night.